everyone, my name is Gareth and today we're going to do a bit of tool restoration. So I find loads of rusty tools when I do magnet fishing, just like this, the sledgehammer head. So we're going to turn rusty junk into this. So if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss all my latest uploads, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. So first I'm going to try and get as much rust off as I can. So I'm going to give it a quick wire brush and then we'll get it in the electrolysis tank. So this is after about 12 hours. So the water's turned a bit brown. See it all bubbling away nicely. And check that out. So I can't believe how good this sledgehammer head turned out after, after just 24 hours in electrolysis. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get the angle grinder on it and use different grade discs and I'm going to get it something right and then I'm going to use this metal polisher and this is from Metal Polishing Supplies UK Limited and give it a polish up and uh, see how shiny we can get it. So I've took all the imperfections out with a really coarse sanding disc and now I'm using a 60s grit flappy wheel and the idea is to get as many of these scratches out as I can before I try and polish it. So this is what it looks like with the 60s grit discs. They're still really hot. <laughs> but yeah, it's turned out uh, it's turned out pretty good so far. So I'm gonna go back over it now with the 80s and then the 120s and uh, see how it looks. I'm keeping that as well, because that's like the uh, that's like a maker's mark, it says Sheffield on it. And I think that says 81, but I don't know if that's a zero or a G. But yeah, that's quite cool. So I want to try and keep that mark.
got a bit more to do and then uh, get it on the polishing wheel. So there is some scratches, um, but compared to what it used to look like, it looks absolutely amazing. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I'd be happy with it just like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a sander. I think it's got about 80 grit on it. Um, it's like an orbital sander, so hopefully we can get some of these scratches out. And then I'm going to go back over it with 120 grit um, sanding paper as well. And then we'll get it on the old uh, polishing wheel. Can't wait. So this is the bit I've been really looking forward to. This is a polisher from Metal Polishing Suppliers UK Limited. That's how I've got it so far. I wire brushed it, did electrolysis on it. If you, if you don't know what electrolysis is, I'll link to the video above where I do electrolysis on this to get rid of the rust. Then after 24 hours, give it another wire brush and a wash off. Gone over it with the uh, grinder. So I use a rough stone to grind it up. And then I use a flappy wheel disc, 60 and an 80 grit and a 120 grit. And then I go over with the orbital sander it's brought me to this so far. And now I'm going to test out for the first time this metal polisher. So that's a sizal wheel. And then you use the black wax first. Put it on for a couple of seconds as that's spinning. And then you polish it. So this is the first time I've ever done it. So I'm quite excited and a little bit nervous. But let's see what happens. Wow, wow, that is super shiny. I'm loving it. Yes, yeah, so it's getting all the scratches out, which is really good. So, what I'm going to do is start using the green wax now and get it even uh, shiny and smoother. And then I'm going to move on to the colour stitch mop. But, well, I put it. honestly, this kit is absolutely amazing. I can't believe how this is turning out compared to what it used to be. That's sick. See if uh, that made a difference. Wow! <laughs> oh man, I wish this camera would pick it up. Honestly, it's like glass. That is sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the colour stitch mop on instead. There we go. And again, I'll start using the black, I'll start by using the black wax, and then as it gets shinier and shinier, I'll then go to the green. So now it's time to change the wheel to the last one, which is this like cotton based one. And that's for the, all you're going to use is the green wax on this one. Well, look how shiny that's come up. Absolutely gorgeous. But yeah. This is just the finishing touch. So 
just want to say a massive thank you to Metal Polishing Supplies UK Limited. That's where I got the kit from. And if you if you want the best kit on the, on the market, that's where you can get it from. So they have a website and a YouTube channel. And if you want to check them out, they'll be in the description below. This is absolutely filthy from uh, polishing. But I can't believe how amazing that um, sledgehammer head turned out. It's like it's like glass. It's amazing. So I'm going to put a handle on it and uh, probably put it on the wall. It'll be too nice to use it again. If you want to see more videos of me doing restorations, I'll put a link to my channel either in the card or in the description below. And the channel's called Trusted G Projects, and that's my second channel. That's where I'm going to be doing more restorations and more crazy builds. So I'll see you over there. What it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we're